Hello everyone, this is Zero and welcome to this AFK journey video. So for the start of the week, we got a new event known as the Expert Dweller. And uh, it's a bunch of, I'll say, Honor Duo related um, missions where you participate in Honor Duo, do different challenges, get as much points as possible, and then get Parisa skin, and then 10 invite letters. So in today's video, I'm going to introduce to you guys one of the most meta or rather one of the strongest teams right in Honor Duo. It was the strongest in the past, but they actually nerfed it multiple times through different mechanics changes. And this team is still surviving really well. This team is still doing really, really like like a really in a really good position because uh, of how the mechanics work. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys the team and hopefully this team can help you nap some easy nine wins on the way. And let us begin the team introduction. OK, before I talk about the team and the units, let's take a look at the featured heroes. So featured hero is one way where they sort of provided some buffs and nerfs to some of the units. So if you guys have seen the thumbnail, you guys should probably know that the core unit in the team is Sylvina with her artifact. And you guys can see for yourself, three of the core units in the team got nerfed massively. Um, Torin got nerfed by a 30% damage reduction, right? Cecil got nerfed with a 10% damage reduction. Although Cecil's nerf is not so bad because her role in the team is more of a control centric one. And then we have Sylvina's uh, uh, nerf in damage and increase in damage taken so you guys can see three of their core units actually got nerfed and there's a reason for that because this team is just so damn powerful and uh, it was so dominant that i think if you're not running this team right you have to run the counter to this team if not you just can't play on a duo because everybody was running this team so yeah that's how powerful this team so without further ado let's jump into the team setup so right here i have a few wins done up i have the team built up so i'm going to explain the core of the team and then you guys can understand how this team work and how you want to work and then i'll show like the last two battles for this account for this run so you guys can see the power of this team so the artifact of choice is none other than pale crown so pale crown is a sylvina specific um artifact where it allows sylvina's first strike ability to deal 2.2 times the damage so this value used to be 2.5 times so you guys can imagine all the damage stacking on sylvina and then you just jump in and pump insta kill somebody right then what happened is she cannot prior be prioritized as a target a second after using the skill and each kill or assist an enemy grants an extra attempt to cast first strike again so what happened is sylvana will be like jumping into enemy back line try to snipe them and then he will jump to another enemy and then use the first strike again so this cycle repeats itself later on as you guys can see on this build and it's insanely powerful okay so the second line of artifact is the artifact which increases real most ally hero damage dealt by 30 percent so the the unit where you put on the most like back line right that unit is gonna hit like a truck 30 percent more damage okay then the third artifact line first strike stuns the target for 66 seconds when cards spy and allied sylvina for the first time so this is i'll say like a permanent stun on first hit so this one is not so important the second and the first nine is what makes this build super powerful so unit of choice we have toren best tank in the game you can protect one of the units with toren uh i'll put nero in sometimes because nero is quite good for sustain in a grave bond faction then i put Aldea Salazo for instant sniping capability because with this build right okay hold on with this build right what happened is sylvina will jump to the back in the earlier stages of the game, Sylvina cannot kill the enemy instantaneously. But with Celeza's help, right, Sylvina jump in, hit the target, Celeza use a sword, and then Sylvina hit the target a little bit, and then she will kill the target and she will reactivate the artifact's ability again. So that's how the I'll say like Celeza is more early to mid-game for this build. And then we have Cecilia for the control, right? So we equip her with the gaze of power so that she can instantly use the ultimate. Doesn't really matter whether or not she's dealing damage because her role in this team is control on the enemy side. Then lastly, we have the star of the show, Sylvina, right? So I'm not going to explain too much of a kid. You guys probably know about her slightly. But the most important thing is that the artifact that I use her with, right? In the early game, you will use Cold Dagger. Cold Dagger is the strongest artifact for, I mean, strongest equipment for Sylvina in the early game because uh, it increases her damage output by 30% as an assassin character, really, really insane. And obviously, you're, you're going to put her like in the last few position where she's going to fly at the enemy target. So in this way, right, what happened is that this 30% damage will always prop because your enemy will always be two tiles away. And if you jump in, it will also be two tiles away or closer. So that's why this is one of the strongest assassin equipment on Sylvina specifically. Then next, um, the late game, right? What equipment do you want? You want Sword of Justice. 
There's another artifact which gives uh, 66% damage. I don't run that because it's very risky because the drawback for that equipment is if, you are, if your Sylvina dies, you instantly lose the match, right? So in a case where you don't have a way to protect Sylvina, especially in the Graveborn faction, that thing is not really good. But for Sword of Justice, it silences Sylvina, the, making prevent the uh, Sylvina from using the ultimate. But in this case, right, this build doesn't rely on ultimate because as you guys can see later on, she'll just jump in and just snipe people off with the first try anyway. So uh, Sword of Justice is a massive buff, at least with the Ace Artifact, it's freaking insane. Uh, every single time I need a nine win to clear my weekly missions quickly, I'll use this build. It's one of the fastest and one of the strongest. So with that, let us do two matches. We have two more matches before our nine wins. Super confident in my nine win because this build is invincible once you reach this stage. Like, I would say it's invincible. Like, there's still counters around, but the thing is, nobody's gonna build a specific counter just to prevent this build from happening, right? So, Torre in the front, right? I'm gonna link Cecilia to Torre because she's the weakest. She wants to be protected. And then I'll put Celezo over here. So, this is the first tree unit. Okay. Okay, nice. So, over here, right? I, I'll put Niru here so that Niru actually can use his ultimate on Sylvana. And Sylvana is put all the way at the back so that you benefit from the second line where it increases rear most allied hero damage by 30%. Okay, so with that, this Harry is gonna pop and then we are gonna pop from there. So, I'm gonna do the battle at one time so you guys can see clearly what is going on with this Imba team. Let's go. Formation review that doesn't really matter who is there because that's gonna get snapped off instantaneously. So Nero used the ultimate one time. Let's go. Iron used the ultimate. Okay. Pum! What was that unit? <laughs> Okay, this this build <laughs> this this build brings me joy <laughs> every single time. <laughs> okay, the unit that got popped is is Rowan. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is this is the reason why this call is so fun because <laughs> you, you just you just pop somebody at the start of the, the idea. <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh no, it's what? <laughs> okay, okay. Right, one, one more run, okay. Let's see whether or not we are popping anybody with this build. <laughs> so fun. Okay, this this is the power of this build. Like there's a reason why they nerf Sylvina's damage, okay? There's a reason why they nerf Sylvina's other partners so that they don't hit so hard in the early game. But once you have this build ready, right? This build is freaking insane, I tell you. Like, okay, same setup. We're gonna link this and then we're gonna put Celezo here. Okay, <laughs> so the core of this team is obviously uh, Sylvina and maybe Cecilia because you need Cecilia for control. I'm just gonna put her here so she gets the buff and then we're just gonna do. I tell you, whoever appears in the back line is gonna pop. So right now she's targeting Celezo. So one thing that's really powerful for Sylvina is you can choose the different positioning and then based on her mechanic, you're gonna uh see the sword right so it's super like she's a really good unit on offense because you have the ability to choose where you position her so you can benefit from the second line buff as well as the i'll say like prioritizing advantage because sometimes there's certain very annoying enemies on the enemy team that you want to snipe off so Sylvina is a perfect target so i'll, I'll put it like this i don't think he has an answer i, I don't want torrent to counter strike me so i guess this will do Okay, with that, let us begin our last battle. Let's go! Okay, I think battle is one time. Formation review. Me against enemy Sylvina. We can't pop the Sylvina, right? Let's see. Okay, Brian's ultimate. Uh, Nero's ultimate, okay. Text the Brian. Brian's what? Oh! <laughs> The Sylvina got popped instantaneously. <laughs> so this is what she will do. She will kill the enemy and then she will just jump around, right? So insane, like, oh my god, good readers that they nerfed this build. Like, it's not as strong as it used to be now, but wow, wow. back in the earlier days, right? This this stupid pale crown Sylvina was everywhere. Like, everybody was running this because so insane. Okay, even without 
like even without the very specific equipment right which is the justice sword over here right this this comp is still very powerful because uh, imagine this okay we take a look at like the the team setup again so if you're not you're not running this uh sword of justice maybe you're not getting the 30 percent but the downgrade which is this uh cold dagger right is a half the boost as well so if you combine that with the second line of the artifact right this team or rather the sylvana that goes in right it's pretty much gonna kill anyone that's not a tank that's just how powerful this view is and and then what happens is she's gonna repeat this uh first strike thing after she kills somebody and then you guys can see she hits so hard she gets like buff massively and then she's gonna continuously do what she do so if you've got no way to deal with her or you don't have the units to answer to this in most cases in honor duo um like uh as an offensive character or as the person on the offense right nobody's gonna build a unit to counter her so that's why she's one of the strongest in terms of pushing for wins she's one of the best unit you can use to actually get you to nine wins really easily so yeah just a simple sharing session to one of the strongest team in honor duo in fact probably still one of the meta teams that you see running around so thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe and hopefully you guys clear expert dueler as fast as possible i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys